No resource about web-based technologies would be complete without a brief reminder to be aware of your digital footprint and to protect your digital identity so that what's out there on the web about you reflects who you are. This section will show you how to view your digital footprint. You may also wish to share the videos and resources with others to help them shape their own digital identities. Let's face it, big data is everywhere. Our clicks are being tracked. Here are just a few of the tools that collect digital data. Social media, comments on websites, blogs, shared photos, search engines such as Google, and don't forget YouTube. One way to ensure that your digital identity is one that you are proud of and that can complement both your personal and professional image is to follow some basic rules of netiquette or network etiquette, a set of guidelines for online communication. It can be very interesting to find out how much and what kinds of data are published about you. And there are tools that can help. For example, use a search engine like Google, type in your own name to see the results. You may be surprised at the level of detail. If you have a common name, it may be more difficult to narrow down results, so here's a tip. Use quotes around your name so that the search tool looks for an exact phrase. As much as we would like to remove every negative or sensitive trace of ourselves from the Internet, unfortunately that's not possible. However, you can clean up some of your personal information and take steps to protect yourself from now on. Always try to create a positive Internet image regardless of the tool or venue. If there's a challenge, consider creating aliases or multiple accounts. No matter what, remember to keep this in mind. Whatever you post will be out there forever. In addition to a positive identity, security is another issue to consider. Throughout this MOOCs, you will create accounts with a number of third-party tools so that you can learn about their capabilities. Always read the company's terms and conditions and never use your campus's authentication, your username and password combination, to register on a third-party website. As for passwords, password management systems are an available option to maintain secure sign-on across different sites. As you go through the MOOC with this information in mind, you'll become more aware of your digital footprint and of more opportunities to make sure your digital identity represents you.